The Kremlin is using propaganda to acclimate Russians to a new reality and new normality in response to the Ukrainian armed forces operation in the Kursk region. Medusa reported the information citing its own sources. According to the outlet's sources, immediately after the start of the Ukrainian armed forces operation in the Kursk region, the Russian elites were shocked. But in two weeks, the shock passed and they got used to it. According to a source close to the Kremlin, at first it was unclear what forces were involved and how long it would last. Now we understand. It's easier. According to a survey by the Public Opinion Foundation, anxiety among Russians has increased by 6% and reached 45%. The Putin administration considers these figures to be quite high and hopes for a rapid decline. In times of shock, and this was definitely a shock, there are always jumps in sociological indicators, then people get used to it and everything settles down. What happened during Prigozhin's mutiny, mobilization, and at the beginning of the war? But everything calmed down, the source said. However, the officials interviewed by the Medusa Internet newspaper are sure that the fighting in the Kursk region may continue for several months. During this time, it is not excluded that Ukraine will seize more territory. Therefore, in order to quickly calm the mood of citizens, the Kremlin is trying to prepare them for life in a new reality and new normality. These terms have already been used by propagandists during the pandemic and at the very beginning of the war with Ukraine. According to the Kremlin's portrayal of this new reality, the following elements are emphasized. The enemy has indeed breached Russian territory. They will ultimately be defeated. However, the reclamation of these territories will require time and Russians should be patient. At this time, people are encouraged to channel negativity and shock into positive direction. In particular, to participate in collecting aid for the Kursk region. Putin's administration has already recommended doing so. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has vowed retaliation for Russia's invasion of his country and the suffering brought upon Ukrainian people as a result of the war. The criminals who came to destroy Ukraine and brought ruins to our home will definitely have ruins at their home, Zelensky said while addressing the nation on August 23, that marks the National Flag Day in the country. In this war, we are winning for Ukrainians the right to justice, to their freedom, their national dignity and security, and their right to have their own state," Zelensky stressed. Addressing the ceremony to celebrate the Flag Day, Zelensky called for national unity, for the sake of the blue-yellow flag, for the sake of Ukraine, stressing that good results can be achieved when Ukrainians are united in decisive moments. Glory to everyone who fights and works for Ukraine. Eternal gratitude to all the heroes of different times who fought for Ukraine. Glory to Ukraine, Zelensky concluded. Other senior officials were also attending the ceremony. It should be noted that Zelensky's remarks came amid Ukrainian army's advances in Russia's Kursk region where Kyiv launched unprecedented cross-border incursion earlier this month.